We're in the midst of our winningest season in uh, school history with the NCCC softball team. We're currently sitting at 24 wins, a uh, 20-2 and two mark in regional play, uh, and, and some of the best hitting statistics that this program's seen. Uh, as a team, we're hitting nearly 400. Uh, we've got 33 home runs and scoring over nine runs per game. Uh, it's really been a historic run thus far, uh, and we're looking forward to, to the next few weeks uh, as the postseason looms. Uh, a big, big catalyst to our season was our return to our spring training trips in Florida and Maryland. It really gave us a nice springboard into our regional season. Uh, some of our individual standouts this past year included Maggie Mae Murrins, who has over 70 hits, 60 RBIs, and is hitting over 500. Most of those marks are near the top of the region. We also have Michaela Montez, a sophomore second baseman, uh, who has over 50 runs scored and nearing 50 hits as well. Sophomore Lydia Serrano uh, has led us both on the mound and at the plate. Uh, she's accumulated 16 wins in the circle, over 100 strikeouts. Uh, she's also taken the ball at any time that we've ever asked her in the last three seasons with us. She's our only three-year player, and we wouldn't be where we are today without her. At the plate, she's also hitting over 400, has several key extra base hits, uh, and is nearing 50-plus RBIs. Setting the table at the top of our lineup are a couple of freshman outfielders, Mackenzie Gagiak and Mariah Semple. Both girls are helping us on the base pass with impressive stolen base numbers and hitting nearly 400. As we approach the, the next few weeks of the season, including the playoff push, I'm looking forward to seeing what this team can accomplish. Um, they're, they're a team that I'm extremely proud of thankful for um, and excited about watching over the next few weeks. They've really taken our program to the next level and for that I'm extremely grateful.